putting icing on? Why are you putting icing on Call of Duty Ghosts? No reason. Want to do a game review? Uh, sure. I just pulled this out. I just declassified this one. Now I have to tell some backstory to the development of this game because it really tells a lot of the quality of it. So the Bureau, XCOM Declassified, started off as a first person shooter developed by Rational Games around May 2006. Uh, shortly before that, um, Rational was bought by uh, Take-Two uh, Interactive, who had also bought the XCOM series from Atari recently, recently before. Around 2007, there was, about, there was some unconfirmed rumors that this um, new XCOM game was being developed. And it had a, uh, a variety of uh, many ideas of what it actually was going to be. Some of which were was a tactical strategy sequel to the original one. Or a uh, first person post-invasion resistance, where you fight aliens even though they probably wiped out humanity already. But most of the production of this game before, uh, during these, um, before this, uh, was halted by having the studio work on Bioshock and its sequels until around, uh, 2010. Then the game was p uh, pitched as XCOM meets the X-Files, and, uh, it was, um, around Cold War time, 60s, 70s, possibly 80s. It was also, and it was also a first-person shooter. Uh, you would also uh, also be able to take pictures of what you killed or where you're around for research. Then, it would then be rated under um, horror, outtakes, erotica, drama, brutality, and then you would be given prestige points if they were under one of those categories. It was then greenlighted under the name XCOM Enemy Unknown and, uh, and had taken both sides of the art scale with having abstract aliens as, such as um, blobs being your enemies or um, uh, geometric shapes uh, like crystals or something. All I know is that if that were to be actually a thing then Van Gogh would really have a field day in that game. In 2010, it was just renamed XCOM and was in development for the Xbox 360 and the PC and to be released around April 2013 to March 2014. The game almost died around 2011, though, after bleeding out from about three turns and then wasn't, be, uh, then wasn't revived because of uh, a lot of uh, key members leaving from Irrational Games. Um, now under the name 2K Studios. But the game was then later revived later in the year and became a linear tactical shooter with settings being changed and enemies becoming humanoid. Just as you see now in most XCOM games. Players could enter tactical, uh, tactical view to order allies around the battlefield. It was also given an RPG element in which you are given experience for your work in the battlefield. In 2012, director Ken Levine uh, left, X, uh, left working on XCOM to go work on Bioshock Infinite, where his expertise would better be used instead of, you know, this, um, this game. Oh, oh yeah, uh, it was then, uh, it was then brought back as being set in the 1960s and a squad-based third-person shooter, and it was released on August 20th. Now that we have that, uh, we have some backstory, let's uh, move on with the game, shall we? So before we start this, I want to uh, tell everybody that usually whenever I try to talk about video games, I go a little, might go a little crazy, so, so if it's different from my monotone voice, um, don't be alarmed. Okay, let's start this. 
The game starts off with William Carter at Groom Range about to deliver a, a briefcase to to a person there, and over all across Groom Range is a, uh, a nice little tune being played on the re radio. Um, Sting, probably. Director Falk ordered him to bring the briefcase with him. What's inside the briefcase? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Inside the briefcase is an order of pizzas for General Hoover Dam, Frosty the Snowman, and General Deems Ol in Distress. Who ordered it, you ask? The same guy from the NSA who, who said it wasn't the red sauces, who played them that nice tune at the start of the game, Edward Snowman. Uh, th that guy. Uh, yeah. Him. Soviet him. Have Not him. The him. When William arrives, a military officer informs that she will escort him and the briefcase to Falk. William refuses, and it turns out he's an alien. Oh no! So all women are aliens. I guess George Stukalos did tell me right. Anyways, the aliens kill William and opens the briefcase, killing her and the briefcase in the process, but putting her soul into back into Williams and making her less of a person than she already was. She killed like two people in cold blood a couple years ago with, with a sack of doorknobs. It, it's a long story, I don't feel like explaining it. Um, William wakes up and sees that the alien's boyfriends have attacked the base and they slaughter the garrison on the base just to get to the person who killed her, even though it's just that suitcase, flashlight, inanimate object. William, uh, Fuck it. I'm calling him Carter from now on. William goes around shooting stuff and even bullets. Did, did anyone get the license plate of that Half-Life dropship ripoff? William finds a dungeon in which he was going to deliver the pieces to, only finding Falk rem remaining alive and destroying the ta time-space continuum forever because before you got there, the places you went through, they looked like a sewer level. They kind of smelled like a sewer level, but they weren't sewer levels. And they were just catacombs. Anyways, they escape the facility with another girl who turns out to not be an alien. Uh, and they escape in a helicopter by the coolest guy I do not know. So what is this game about? Well, aliens. And um, a lot of, a lot of repetitiveness. You're always in this place that looks like a sewer level but isn't. Unless if you're not, and then which you are in racist town, USA. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. I mean, Georgia. You, you fight aliens, you steal their stuff, and you don't even call them back. You talk to people, trying to make decisions about stuff, and totally not stealing from the Mass Effect series in a shitty way. And then, is this a game? Nope. How about this? No. Or this. Here's a fire. I don't think it'll be detrimental to the ecosystem here's a guy who's willing to jump who is willing to jump inside of a galactic asshole what a faggot here's a giant eyeball that shoots laser beams at you there's some zombies uh, they're they're not it looks like they're stealing from the Call of Duty series but they're actually not they're just in fact they just don't attack you they're just slaves they do something uh, so yeah that's in fact that's stealing from the antebellum era dlc of america the game why isn't this still video games oh my god this is awesome i get to choose where to put people where their grave is you there you you die right there yes yes <sighs> then then uh after you fight some more things and not video games th these people they spend like 220 million dollars on the Avengers then it gets delayed until the rest of the game still no game here you, you finally go to a damn cursed by the Hoover guy who died at the start of the game and you travel through a Venn diagram to a world constantly obsessed with the mosaics here they discover that the person constantly obsessed with mosaics is actually Van Gogh himself it, it turns out he was actually pissed off when the game was redone into this uh, shithole and also that the briefcase wasn't actually filled with pizzas, but the soul of John Lennon. And that this whole time, Car Carter was be being controlled by a sorrow. Excuse me, I sneezed right there. Here the aliens find out where Carter's apartment is and attack all the people in it. Excuse me, we are having a party in here, so please leave.
Now here comes the most massest, effectest um, thing in the game. Die or control not not alien thing. You you could choose the lady who wasn't an alien. You or you could choose Falk or the the asshole scientist. Then you rewatch the Avengers and realize it was it wasn't as cool when you watched it the first time, and then you go have well, to go kill Origin, which is pretty good because I don't really like EA. They're kind of assholes. More on that in another video. You go in, you shoot some more things, and it's and then you come in here and uh, stop, stop, stop for a second. This is actually the place where I died. I couldn't get past this part. It was so fucking hard for me. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because I was tired or I was just, like, done with the game. But I I'm serious here. I, like, played this on, like, regular difficulty. And it kicked my ass, like, five times in a row and I never got past it. This is, like, the first time in which it's actually like the original XCOMs in which it has, like, no mercy and kicks your ass, all like, all the time. But I haven't seen this in the game beforehand, so it makes no fucking sense. Why? So, that was XCOM. Excuse me, the Bureau. XCOM Declassified. This are fucking retards. About that. Why would I fucking tear this place apart? Um, so I've calmed myself down, so yeah, the game, I didn't like it. So how'd you think it turned out? I thought it was pretty good. Nah, it was shit. Uh, just delete it and we'll do something more productive with our lives. Like play video games? No, I told you I fucking hate video games! you didn't upload it, then who did upload it? Oh my god, I have to go.